Hi friends, welcome to my channel called Tell Furious. So I'm going to release two videos actually simultaneously. So the first video is uh, regarding Rohit Sharma's great comeback after that injury and uh, Bangladesh uh, terrific win. You know, in fact, we have to say that it is a terrific series win for Bangladesh. So we are going to discuss that only video will upload. So guys, first we have to really appreciate Rohit Sharma. Yes, we would have lost the match as well as we would have lost the series against Bangladesh. But at the same time, we have to appreciate Rohit because uh, unfortunately Rohit, you know, he got that injury while fielding in the slips and his uh, thumb, you know, almost got that web cut and a uh, lot of stitches. So uh, seriously, he left the field at the initial stage itself. Then Rahul took over the uh, captainship uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I think he missed so many tricks. Uh, to be very honest, as a captain in bowling changes. So it happens. So he's not a full-time captain, so it happens. But uh, coming to Rohit Sharma, seriously, I thought he would never come to bat. But I had a small doubt, you know, when uh, Aksar and uh, as well as, no, actually Aksar got out, to be very honest. When Deepak Jahar and uh, Thakur, you know, they were, they were taking that game little deep. So I thought, okay, maybe Rohit might come after eight wickets. So that is why they are going, they are taking the game so deep. So exactly the same thing has happened. And once Thakur got out, uh, Rohit came and I was literally surprised actually. Actually, so many people would have uh, got surprised because it is not easy after, you know, once your web as well as your thumb, you know, if you get so many stitches, it is not easy to come and bat again. And we have to really appreciate Rohit and he almost won the game for India. So that is what, that is what, you know, he almost won the game for India. So it was, it was really appreciable innings from Rohit and uh, with that injury, he came to bat and uh, that shows how passionate he is, you know, for Team India and uh, he wants to win this match. That's why he came in, okay, because this is a do or die match. Obviously, if we lose, we will lose the series. So that is why he came and he tried his 100%. So definitely we have to give credit to that instead trolling him or uh, it is very easy to pass negative uh, remarks about the losing captain it is very very easy but you have to understand that uh, he still fought for india you know uh, till the last ball so we have to thanks rohit sharma for this kind of attitude and uh, hope this 50 you know which he got in just 25 26 balls will bring back the old rohit sharma which we are really waiting for so many days so let's hope for the best. Secondly, I think we have to appreciate Bangladesh because from 68 for 6 out of nowhere, one second they have come back. Like in the last game, you know, they lost 9 wickets in around 130. Then the last wicket partnership which uh, went till 50 or 52 runs and they won the game. So the same way today after 68 for 6 and the same hero, you know, Mehdi Hassan is <laughs> becoming a is becoming trending you know, all over for the past uh, 2 to 3 days. The way he is performing, no, that kind of a positiveness is evolving around whole Bangladesh unit. That is what I was able to see when I was watching the match. So obviously, Mahadi Hassan is a great prospect for uh, Bangladesh. I think he can bat little higher because he's such an aggressive player, batting too low, you know, coming in six and seven. Okay, in this series it would have clicked, but I think they can use Mahadi Hassan as a floater. And even he can open the bat because he is having a good technique, to be very honest. He's not just a slogger. He has a good technique and uh, and is a very good off spinner. And uh, hopefully he will become a great all-rounder like how Shakib is being now. And uh, that is always going to be good for cricket. Okay, We have to think in that way. In general, we have to think that uh, we need all-rounders from every team like this. So Bangladesh should be really happy. And uh, see, I think this 2023 ODA World Cup is the best chance for Bangladesh to win. To be very honest, some people might say, boss, you are going a little overboard, but I'm serious. I'm damn serious that Bangladesh, if they are going to play as a unit, you know, maybe this series, uh, Mahathi Hassan would have dominated and the others would have not played that much well. But they have a good team, to be very honest. Once Tuskin is back, you know, this bowling unit seems to be uh, a very good unit. Tuskin, Mustafizur Rahman and uh, Abadar Hussain and uh, the two spinners. Shakib as well as uh, Mehdi Hassan and they have some more other good spinners also. So in that way even Mohamedullah can chip in. So they have a very good all-round team. This is the best chance for Bangladesh to win the World Cup. Hopefully they form a, a good unit. Okay, They form a good squad and uh, try to win this World Cup. And 
Huge congratulations for Bangladesh for beating India and winning the series. I think this is the second time they are beating India and winning the series at home. And that is a terrific record which they are maintaining. And it's not going to be easy to beat Bangladesh in Bangladesh. They are proving it again and again. So huge salute to Bangladesh. Bye.